What dream car do you want to own in the future? Trick question, you won't get to. I'm in Austin for South by Southwest 2016, and one of the biggest discussions here at Interactive is the concept of autonomous cars and the sharing economy. Imagine a future where all the cars are driven by robots and you don't own your car. You actually just call up a service whenever you need to get from point A to point B and a driverless car scoops up and you get in and you go. Why is this such a compelling idea? Let me throw a couple of numbers at you. Frederick Sue of Nauto actually said that all the energy that a car uses to move a person amounts to just 2% of the energy it expends. That's incredibly inefficient. And part of that inefficiency also is in the use of the vehicle. The average American car spends 96% of its time parked in a parking space or a garage. But with a fleet of constantly moving autonomous cars, you have proximity, you have prevalence, and you have Price. Now what that means is that with enough cars, there's always gonna be one close enough to you so that it's just a matter of minutes before it drives up to your curb. With the prevalence, that means there's enough all over the city to get you to wherever you may need to get. And price is in a matter of scale. As you build in more autonomous cars, the price per mile comes down. Right now, if you wanna to get to point A to point B, you're talking about a price of around a dollar a mile. But with scaling that up, we could probably bring that price down to 50 cents per mile or even 25 cents per mile and suddenly you're talking about an attainable model for transportation. Now the panels that I went to today were really interesting, had a lot of discussion and even disagreement about what role will car ownership play in this future. Will everyone still own a car? Will they get rid of their cars? It seems to be up in the air. In fact, one person said car ownership might become like horse ownership. Some people may have them for specific purposes, perhaps outside of city areas or to go off-roading, but you wouldn't be driving your vehicle that frequently, so why take up space owning one? Personally, I think this sounds like a really interesting but incredibly disruptive technology. We're not just talking about personal travel, we're talking about freight and shipping. We're talking about airlines having to rethink their role in tomorrow's society. The whole thing blows my mind. Guys, I've spoken enough about this right now. You gotta go to now.howstuffworks.com every day to learn more about the coolest stories going on right now. I'll see you there.